Hey guys, Big T here again. And today I'm going to take a break from the account we've been playing with uh, in the tutorials to look at some other accounts. The first one, we're going to take a little explaining here. This is Hero Sandwich's account. Now he's a, a friend of mine in real life, or IRL like we like to say. He's uh, stepping away from the game. He's uh, He's gotten a little fed up. He's dumped a lot of money into his characters, and uh, he's uh, he's an esports guy. So you may even recognize his usernames on other games. I won't put that out there. I don't know if he wants that out there. Um, but basically, he's uh, he's letting me play around with his his account to to show off other champions. I'm not going to put money into this. Uh, very much money into this game, so I'm not going to see the kind of characters he has. You can see here he's got uh, he's got two tier fours. Uh, he's got a tier four Star Lord, which is really nice, and I like playing around with him. He's got the Storm. He got that from one of the Versus arenas, <clears throat> but that's where he's uh, he's kind of gotten a little upset. Um, he played the uh, the Magic and the Captain America. And in both of those, he uh, he hit in the millions and wasn't able to place. But he's put a lot of money into crystals. As you can see, he's, he's acquired quite a roster of characters, which he was happy with. He, he put the money in, he got the characters. What he didn't like was he built himself a roster of even... Uh, some maxed out characters like he's maxed out his uh, who did he max out here he maxed out his Punisher and his Thor and it looks like he's on a good good uh, start to maxing out Captain America so he was fairly confident he had the roster to compete in verses and possibly place now let's see if he still has his yeah, so we still have the magic letter boards here. <clears throat> they have letter boards. It, it uh, gives you the illusion of uh, legitimate esports. In no way, make no mistake, this is not a legitimate esports game. What you'll notice in. Uh, we don't have an active arena, but in the arenas. Once you use a character, you've got two hours cooldown on the character. You can put some credits in, recharge the character, and play them again. So with that being credits are bought with real money, your letter boards are going to be based on who has the money to pay for the recharges. Now, Hero, he's I know him, he's got money, he's got time. That's what he does. He play he, he's a gamer a programmer and that's what he does so he's got the time he's got the money the fact is is he's not willing to pay to place so when he places in in legitimate esports he's he's placing by skill and he's a good player so the fact that he's dropped the game is something that Kabam needs to take a look at if they really want to be um, respected and legitimate in esports, they're gonna have to have to eventually um, bring in some real PvP and not pay to pay pay to play PvP. They're gonna need to bring in a non-monetized PvP system. Now let's take a look at his uh, his placements in in the uh, this two star. He placed 8,429. I know he said he didn't play that very much. He placed 220 in the, the 3 versus 3. Now that's zero credits. So this is zero dollars he placed 220, which is pretty dang good. But he didn't come close to the top guys. These top guys are probably, they're probably dumping in hundreds of credits to, to, to post these numbers um, I know uh, he told me that he was he was uh, hitting most of his cooldowns while playing and 
and he didn't even get into the uh, what is it I think 150 gets you a forge star character and uh, Oh, maybe 200. Yeah, 200 give, gets you on the on the list here, and he was 220. <clears throat> so if he would have, say, put in a, a 20, 30 dollars, he probably would have hit that in, 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 just in 200. If there was no money, I wouldn't doubt if he would be top 100, maybe even uh, even better. But like I say, these guys are putting in quite a bit of money not legitimate they're gonna have to fix that me myself I don't I don't I'm not into the eSports I don't care if I place I'm going to play three versus three but I'm going to play three versus three because of your rewards like if you uh, if you look at let's go back into completed if you look at your uh, rewards you're gonna get gold, you can get some battle chips, but you're gonna get some credits in here too. So it's nice, nice to get these extra credits. A lot of battle chips. Once you hit 2.5 million, which is gonna be tough with that account, that new account I'm running, you get a crystal, uh, guaranteed two star crystal. So I'm gonna try, try hitting that. Ranking <clears throat> again. I'm not counting on hitting any ranks, but if I can get enough of uh, enough points in there to rank you get some some hero crystals which um, that's what I'm shooting for maybe even a three star if I can rank high enough um, I don't have any three star characters or four star so I won't be in this this uh, prizes but uh, we may be able to once we get enough two stars, I might be able to get into this, uh, into these prizes, which will give us milestones. Looks like they even give you more, uh, more credits in here for the milestones. Yeah, there's five, five. There's a ten. Another ten. So yeah, there's actually better, better milestone rewards in the two-star arena and there's your crystal at the top he didn't get he didn't get that high for the crystal which like I say he's bought most of the characters so he didn't have to worry about that ranking the ranking is is uh, a lot more light so I'd expect if I can get a couple good teams I'll probably see this uh, blue blue crystal here is a guaranteed three-star so I could see myself getting a getting that guaranteed three-star and maybe even hitting hitting some higher ones I'm hoping to hit a three star once I start playing that's what he hit he hit the uh, the three star magic with a with a crystal so he actually got two three star magics giving him the boost which is there she is right there that gave so he Honestly, I would have been ec ecstatic to get a three star, no money spent, a lot of time invested, but then you've got your uh, rewind ability, which is pretty cool. 11.2% chance for her to go pa back in time before she got hurt. So it just, that's pretty cool. And there she is. So yeah, if there's anything you, you guys want to see me do a video on from his account, I probably won't be recording what I do on there, but if you do want to see a see a hero, like he's got himself a three-star Punisher in here, which is pretty cool. I, I've never haven't seen one of them yet. It's four-star Star Lord, very cool. And uh, he got a Captain America, who would, he was wasn't happy about that. He wanted the four-star, which he would he feels uh, if he would have put money in, he would have gotten that idea he said he spent enough on it and, and decided to to bow out but that's that that's his account um, like I say uh, hopefully kabam straightens out because uh, players like that are the guys that uh, 
that give you legitimate legitimacy to your uh, to your esports standing. So um, if you're if you're counting on this being uh, pay no money and and uh, and show off your skills, it's uh, it's that's not uh, the, not what this game is about. I don't know if they're aiming for that, but it's definitely not there. I know initially, and that's why we we were excited with this game. Initially, you didn't you couldn't pay credits to recharge. If I remember correctly, you paid. They had a different chip. They didn't have battle chips. There was a, there was a different currency. You could buy that currency, uh, but you it was recharged just like energy. And uh, once they introduced the uh, the uh, units, it uh, into the arena. It kind of uh, kind of changed the way the whole uh, the whole versus the versus works. Like I say, you make no mistake, this is a free game. It is a very, very nicely done free game. They've spent a lot of time developing it. You can tell by by the model work that they've done. I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. But it's a free game. So, bottom line, their investors are going to want to see profit. Make no mistake, they might talk a good game, they might say that this is a game they're building for, for their customer base. They're gonna they're gonna give you content in a slow drip. Just like in an IV, you're gonna get it very slowly. You you might be able to get a four star every once in a blue moon three stars even rare unless you want to dump money in and that's that's what they want they want maximize the money you give them and minimize what they give you back that's it's business and that's gonna happen so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I made on my first account I didn't spend any money or I just spent the spent the chips that I built up, and I played it for a long time, so I was able to build up uh, some characters. But when I decided it was time to put money in, I actually started a new account because. Well, why don't I? I'll jump into it here. There'll be a, a cut in the video because I'm going to log in. I don't want you see. I want you to see my password, and uh, I'll kind of show you what I did here. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back, and this is my first account that I started up. As you can see, the level is, is fairly low. Uh, champions, let's jump right in there. As you can see, only two star champions. Like I say, I didn't put any money into this. And uh, the two stars I got on dailies and in, uh, in the chips that I gained from questing. Uh, as you can see, I only have two stars. There's no one stars. Well, the mistake I made when I started out, I thought, well, when I score a two-star Hulk, I'll just delete my one-star Hulk. I already, I'd only want one of each. I'm a collector. I thought, hey, one of each character, great. <clears throat> I didn't realize that the best way to make it anywhere in this game is to save every character you get. One star, two star, three star, four star. Save them all, because you're going to be able to use them in in the uh, verses. One versus one. You get crystals. You get chances of punishers. There's my free punisher that they gave us with your your boost. Came with the defy pain. That was kind of cool because I hadn't seen a punisher yet. And yeah, so that was a big mistake. The other mistake I made was. They gave the uh, three-star Deadpool offer, and I missed out. I didn't get it, uh, so I didn't even have that three-star there. So I thought, all right, I'm gonna throw some money in. I could have went, jumped right in, and just bought some units and and started uh, started playing the, the the same account. But I thought, hey, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put any money in, I want I want myself a Deadpool. So I'll. Uh, 
figured, hey, I'll buy that pack right off on a new account since I hadn't pr progressed a lot and I made some big mistakes. I deleted characters. Like, even Spider Man, if you notice, the rare one start Spider Man that you should never delete. He's the only tier one that has synergy with any other characters. What a, a dummy move. Like, I. I just didn't get it. It was, but I do that. I I do silly things sometimes. So let's let's get into my uh, my second account. Like I say, I'm gonna there'll be a cut in the video because I don't want you I want you to see see what I'm doing here. My login. All right. Okay, here we go. We're back with my other account. Let's just grab this crystal quick. Here. You want to snag these uh, these free crystals that pop up as, as soon as they're up, because there's a timer. As soon as you open it, it uh, the timer starts again. That one's a four-hour crystal. There's also a daily crystal that you want to hit that every time. <clears throat> So yeah, as you see here, I'm uh, level 12, so I, I played this, this account more than my first one. And what I did was I bought the three-star Deadpool. So that was, a, I think, a 20, what, 20, 23 dollar deal. And that gave me 300 units that I spent. And I think I hit, in those first units, I think I hit one of the three star characters you see here I think it was Gamora that I got so right off the bat I had uh, for 20 bucks spent I got my I got my three star Deadpool, I got my three star Gamora and then I got some two star guys that were in here and another two of the two stars, can't remember which ones they were then I went ahead and I broke down and I bought the All Father Odin's Vault, which was 120 bucks, and that was my limit. I was said I'm going to buy that. That's going to be my limit. I'm not going to buy any more. And happy day! I think it might even been the first batch of ten that I opened. I hit this bad boy, Juggernaut, four star. I know here in Hero, he was, and a bunch of the other guys in the chat, they were pretty pissed. They said that they had spent, I think Hero said he'd, it was 400 and some odd dollars before he saw his Star-Lord. So I was uh, pretty happy with myself. I wasn't expecting, had no uh, no expectations on, on what I was going to get, so... And I, I enjoy these big guys too, so having a juggernaut was pretty cool. And then uh, in the in that uh, batch too, which guys were surprised, I got another another three three star characters. One of them being my Rhino, another big guy that I like. We saw Ronin and a Colossus. So. That puts me at uh, under 150 bucks, and we got uh, we got four three stars, or sorry, five three stars because we count our Deadpool, several two stars, and uh, and our four star Juggernaut. So don't expect that. If you're gonna put money in, expect <coughs> have your start your expectations low because. The drop rate on those crystals is horrid. You're gonna, you might spend 300, 400, who knows how many, you, and you might see very, you might only see a, a, a three-star character every time you open a batch of crystals. If you don't even see a three-star at all, you, you don't be surprised. It's, uh, like I say, it's, they want your money, and uh, don't make any illusions of that. It's. Uh, it's something that um, the players are going to have to voice their opinions and, and let uh, let Kabam know that uh, hey uh, 
at the very least, if, if the crystals, uh, I know guys are complaining about the crystals, I kind of like it. I like the fact that, hey, I got a gold character. Not everybody has one. I can go into the chat, I can show them off, I can say, hey, you look what I got. And and you're, you puff your chest out and it's kind of neat. It's uh, it's like uh, the, I'm, a, I'm a comic book guy. Um, you find that rare comic that uh, that not everybody has, and you it's a it's a gem in your collection, which is cool. The problem is is they're monetizing what they're trying to give the illusion that versus is a legitimate arena. It's not. They call it arena. It's not an arena. The characters you face, like let's jump into here and let's throw in, uh, um, let's throw in our Punisher because he's got some, some boosts here. <clears throat> when you go in here, See, I'm facing off, okay, my streak is pretty low, I'm facing off a Wolverine. But what happens is when your streak gets higher, not only is it a computer you're facing, the computer has, like here I'm facing a, uh, somebody named Devine, and there's a good chance that Devine's Wolverine isn't this level. My streak is low, so they need a guy for me to face that's easy. So Devine is there's a good chance that his maybe his Wolverine has been upgraded and is actually in the 200s, but because they need to scale they scale everything, they make it easier. When it gets harder, they scale it and make it harder. That's why in Versus, sometimes you'll see Deadpool with his boost. Like, let's go into Champions and into Deadpool. And in full, here we go. Signature ability for healing factor. At this moment right now, this doesn't exist on our end. I've got Deadpool, I got a three-star Deadpool. I want another three-star Deadpool to unlock the signature ability. I can't get him. They've never re-released him a second chance in, in the uh, store. You can't get him from crystals, you can't get him any other way other than the one time when you open your account you got a week. If you don't buy them, then you'll never see them again, and you won't see a repeat, repeat. So the signature ability on our end does not exist. It exists in verses. It exists in quest. So when you go into verses, let's fire another one up here. Let's uh, let's do our chuck. You go into verses. Okay, here we've got Colossus three star, six hundred and seventy. Uh, level there's a good chance like I say pick mine yeah his Colossus maybe his Colossus is only 300 maybe his Colossus is, uh, is uh, 900 but they change it to make difficulty they'll also give those bonuses so you might see Deadpool with the silver stars he does it's not possible uh, pick mine my guy, which is, is named Old Balls, those accounts do not have the bonus skills on Deadpool. It just doesn't happen. It won't happen. It doesn't have to happen. It may down the road, but at this point, when you see it in verses, uh, I know uh, uh, one of the other guys doing reviews. He was uh, he did a video with. Uh, he actually showed the. Deadpool with the, uh, the extra skills, and he was thinking that maybe somebody was hacking. They're not hacking, it's just uh, the, the game is uh, just scaling the characters for difficulty. 
And again, that takes away from the legitis legitimacy of the of the verses. It's uh, it's not a real esports arena, um, and especially the uh, these uh, units. I can see charge units. Okay, this uh, this uh, three versus three event here cost a hundred hundred units to get in. That's fine. Um, charge a hundred. Maybe have a um, a high-end uh, arena that you can charge a whole thousand credits. That's fine. Guys are going to pay that. But once you get in, like let's go into now with the the two guys that I played. They're on cooldown. I got two hours before I can play this guy, or I can pay five five credits. That's where the arena loses any hope of being legitimate. As soon as I can recharge this guy, put him back into the into the show, put him back into the game, um, the standings are no longer legitimate. That's like saying, uh, uh, that's you bringing in a ringer, you're, or you're, uh, you're paying a football game, maybe uh, you're losing the football game and you throw the ref uh, a hundred uh, hundred bucks and he gives you an extra point that's not a real that's not an eSport this is a, this is an eSports the any legitimacy is gone once you do that so so with that being said uh, like I say I love the game I'm gonna keep playing it heroes out he stepped back he says that uh, that he his his uh, now that he's collected a roster, his his uh, hope was to to get some gameplay out of the versus arena. And he said that it's uh, I won't quote him because I, I prefer not to put profanity in my videos. But yeah, it's uh, I think he busted a, an iPhone when he when he saw those standings and he said it was uh, a bull bull crap. we we'll censored a bit. And he stepped away. Um, he said, "Ah, if you want to play, play some characters you've never played." He hand, handed me his account. He says, "Just go ahead, and level it, play it however you want." So I'm kind of excited with that. I'm disappointed to see him go. He said uh, he's gonna keep doing. He's uh, he's a programmer. He's the guy that's been doing the uh, pulling the models out of the game files and showing off what's coming. And he's going to keep doing that. He said anytime there's an update, he'll he'll go through that. He also emailed me. He found a lot of other stuff. Um, he does, doesn't like doing the videos. I don't I don't know if he's going to do them at all. But I told him if he sends me the files, I'll I'll throw something together and show them off. So I might uh, show off what he found already. And then he's, there's a lot of stuff he didn't post. Um, text that he found in regards to other stuff coming in the game and. So I'll do uh, the next video. I'll do. I'll go through some of that stuff for you and and uh, show you show you the, some of the goodies that uh, that we got coming. So uh, stay tuned. Like I say, uh, like me if you like my videos. Dislike them if you don't. And we'll see you next time.